from decorating. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And sit back and let's start. But I'm going to be using these plungers of the wood part. And first I'm going to take off the stickers from these. And please subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what you think about this. I'm going to use some jute and some paint stir sticks and some Waverly chalk paint. Is the wax, the antique wax. But I'm going to use my heat gun to take these stickers off. They come off really easy when you use a heat gun. But let me know if you have a better way to get it off. This makes it come off really, really easy though. And then I just peel it right off. Um, these are the tops of the plungers from the Dollar Tree, like I said. And I'm going to use some of this alcohol to try to take off some of that sticky that's left behind. After that, I'm going to take some of the Waverly wax and antique color. And I'm going to just paint both of these uh, plunger sticks and I want them to have that natural wood look so I'm going to kind of wipe them off and I'm going to do this to both of the uh, sticks and I'm just going to keep painting them I got them both done and so we're going to work on our paint stir sticks I'm going to do the same with the antique wax. If you don't have them, you can use the rollers from the Dollar Tree, the wood ones. And again, I'm using the antique wax. And we're going to do the same thing, just brush it on, kind of wipe it off to give it that natural wood look. And I'm going to paint three of these. Once we get them painted, we're going to start arranging this to make it look kind of like a little ladder. You can hang little uh, decorative towels on, but we're going to temporarily put it together a little bit with some hot glue, just a little bit, to hold it while we're adding some jute. So we've got it to, you know, arrange kind of how we want it. And I'm going to wrap this around where each paint stir stick meets the plunger stick. And I'm going to tie it into an X, as you see like I'm doing here. And I'm going to do that on each corner of the stir stick on both sides of the ladder. And this will just help hold it in place better and it'll give it a little rustic look. So I'm going to go ahead and start on my other corners and just showing you how I'm doing I'm going to go ahead and do the top and with some little hot glue so that I can get it to stay together a little bit better and then I'll do the middle one. So just adding a little hot glue. After you get the uh, jute on, you can add a little hot glue to it to give it a better hold. As you see, I've got them all together. And now you can add some more hot glue if you'd like. But I'm going to put some jute on the bottom of these so you can't tell that they were into a plunger. And so we're just going to add the hot glue at the bottom here and apply our jute. And you see these little silicone things on my fingers? My neighbor got me those. So if you're watching, thank you, thank you. I really, really am so glad I looked all over for these. And she gave my husband something to give me. But I'm just going to do both sides of this ladder at the bottom. And you see I got it done. And that's it. 
the ladder's done and you can just decorate it how you'd like. There's a little. Now I'm moving on to some jars that I wanted to decorate because I saved some jars. I'm going to wipe off the jar with some alcohol just to get off the um, oils and stuff to make it better to paint. And I need to take off my silicone fingertips. Forgot I still had them on. You can't even tell you're wearing them. I'm just wiping off the lid in case I want to use it. I'm going to use Waverly Chalk Paint in white color. And this really covers glass really well. I love chalk paint. And I'm just going to give it a good coat of the Waverly Chalk Paint. And we're just going to start brushing it on. And it'll take two coats. I'll show you what it looks like after one and before I start the second coat. So we're just going to start painting it all the way around and getting the top as well. And then that's after one coat. I'm going to go ahead and do another coat. After the second coat, I'm going to take this Waverly paint in the color ink. And I'm going to start dabbing it along the top. I want to give this like a enamel look, like the paint's been chipped off and that there's enamel showing through. And so I'm going to add the black to the top. And little splotches here and there just to make it look like paint has rubbed off and enamel showing through. And I'm just going to go around and add the black just here and there just to make it look like enamel. Once I get all of that on, I want to take some uh, jute and wrap around the top. I'm going to double this up along the top just to give it a little extra decor. And I'm going to loop it towards the front. And I'm going to take these little chalk board label things that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. They had a pick on them, but I pulled the pick off. And I'm just going to hot glue it to my jute. And you can hot glue it to the jar if you'd like. I'm adding a little hot glue to the jute in the jar just to get it to stay a little bit better. And so I'm doubling over my Jute, giving it a trim, and then I'll add my little chalkboard label. And you can use this for pencils or whatever your supplies you have, paint brushes, decoration in your living room, add some flowers, whatever you want to use it for. Just a good idea for jars that you might have laying around. And you do it for basically pennies. And so there's our first jar. And you can write anything on it you'd like. Now with this second jar, it's a little smaller. It was actually a salsa jar. I'm going to also paint it in the Waverly chalk paint in the color white. And it's the same process as before. We're going to wipe it off with alcohol to get the oils and stuff off from, you know, holding it. We don't want it's it, the paint holds easier if we do that. And so I'm just going to start painting it. I'm going to paint it all the way around, all the way to the top. 
And then after the first coat dries, we'll give it another coat. That's coat one. Now for the second, and there it is. Now we're going to take some sandpaper, a sand block, and just scratch off around the edges to make it look like it's wore off, just to give it that rustic rough look. And I'm just going around and scra scratching off different places that to make it look more worn. And just do it wherever you uh, think may need it. It's really up to you, whatever you like. Next, I'm going to take this burlap ribbon. I picked it up from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to put it around the middle. And at the back, we're going to hot glue it. We'll fold it over to give it a nice, neat edge. And we'll fix it so that it's nice and centered in our middle of our jar. Putting on my silicone fingertips. We're just going to add a little bit of glue just so we can get it to stay in the middle. Once we get it the way we like it, as you can see, I'm going to add a little more glue to make sure it stays. We're going to take this jute next and just wrap it around the middle of our jar a couple times, two or three times, whichever you'd like. And then we're just going to tie it in a knot in the front. I really hope you guys are enjoying my videos. I'm still learning how to edit, so bear with me on all that. But... I've got more videos to come, just trying to get them out there and edited. Everyone that does YouTube knows what that's like. And I'm still trying to find a good editing app. So if anyone has any recommendations, leave them in the comments below and let me know. And so here I just tied it in a knot and put a little more hot glue just to hold it in place. And then here's our second jar. So guys, like I said, hit that subscribe button and the bell. You'll know every time I upload a video. And here's the jars. Thanks for watching.